In this lesson we will discuss power relationships in parallel circuits. All the resistors in the circuit diagram shown dissipate power in the form of heat. The power dissipated in each resistor is determined by the following equations. For R1, P1 is equal to E squared divided by R1 or E times I1 which is equal to I1 squared times R1. For R2, the power is P2, which is equal to E squared divided by R2, which is equal to E times I2, which is equal to I2 squared times R2. And for R3, the power is equal to E squared divided by R3, which is equal to E times I3, which is equal to I3 squared times R3. For resistors in parallel, the total power dissipated is equal to the sum of the power dissipated by each resistor, or power is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. For N resistors in parallel, the total power is therefore equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 up to Pn. If all the resistors in a parallel circuit are of equal value, then the total power is equal to n, the number of resistors, times the power dissipated in each resistor. We can determine the relationship of power dissipated by any one resistor to the total power dissipated by all the resistors as follows. Since P1 equals E times I1 and I1 equals E divided by R1, then P1 is equal to E squared divided by R1 and the total power is equal to E squared divided by the total resistance. Therefore, P1 divided by the total power is equal to E squared divided by R1, which is divided by E squared divided by the total resistance, or total resistance divided by R1. Or, further simplifying, P1 is equal to the total power times the total resistance divided by R1. Let's look at an example of how to calculate power dissipation in a parallel circuit. Using the circuit shown, calculate the value of the power dissipated in each of the resistors and the total power delivered by the source. Using P1 equals E squared divided by R1, we get P1 is equal to 20 squared divided by 100, which is equal to 400 divided by 100, or 4 watts. Continuing, P2 is equal to E squared divided by R2, which is equal to 400 divided by 50, or 8 watts. And P3 is equal to E squared divided by R3, which equals 400 divided by 25, or 16 watts. The total power, therefore, is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3, or 4 plus 8 plus 16, which equals 28 watts.